Hey guys, Dave from Dave's Lawyer Shop Works here, and I'm just wondering, what do you like to do on a Friday? It's Friday evening, and it's a little bit chilly outside, but snow. What do you do to stay warm and relaxed? I like to weld, and sand. I also like to build engines and transmissions and differentials and electrical and bodywork and all that jazz. So anyway. Long story short, tonight we are going to try and complete all the welding on Brooks truck box. So that means finishing off the back corner down there and I have to cut a hole in the driver's side of the truck box so I can relocate the fuel fill cap. I kind of wish this thing came with dual tanks because then I could just cut one out and delete it but either way we're going to cut two holes, swap the paneling make it hopefully look like it never happened. Here goes. Well guys, I don't know if you can tell, but we've got too big a gap here to weld. Now, you can laugh at me if you want and say, aha, you didn't measure it right, blah, blah, blah. And I didn't. 
but I wasn't too worried because my goal was to make the hole smaller for that one and I did that now this one here I have another piece of steel that I cut off of another truck box so it's got the right curve I was actually thinking ahead for once there we are nice and big and the best part about this guy is he has the right exact curvature for the truck box that's right side up I'll clean it up I'll lay it up in the back side and then I'll cut it with the zip cut, cut along this edge so I can make a nice, clean, perfect welding gap. And then we'll tack it all in as we go. up a little bit of it's not so pretty but it's solid I'll give it that we got all the trim screws welded up we got that piece at the back corner now I have a little bit of warpage here a little bit of warpage here and here the sides actually fared out really well now I knew I was gonna have to be putting some uh, body filler on anyway starting with a skim coat but I'm gonna let this stuff uh, cool down overnight and then I'm going to hit it with the grinder, let it cool down again. And then I'm going to work the back side of it with whatever kind of tools I can fit up there just to bring this out. It's only in about a quarter inch. It looks bad uh, from my view, but it's only in about a quarter inch. So I should be able to work that back out and bring it down to a dull roar. So I can uh, just smooth it over with a little corrective filler. And I will freely admit... I start getting rammy. You probably noticed and were probably screaming at me through the screen. Hey man, slow down a little bit. Span out your welds. I just, I get in the zone and that's the one thing about a journeyman mechanic who's done flat rate repairs. Uh, and in flat rate time is money and you just start go, 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 go. But that is the last of the welding on this truck box. I am happy to say. So to recap, everything's welded. The passenger side of the truck box, is, the upper half is all body fillered and ready to go. Um, the driver side truck box, still got to do all the body work on it. But long story short, that's where we're going to leave it. That was a long night of messing around and getting everything welded up. Uh, I met my goal. Goals are important. So next time you see it, um, it'll either be all smoothed up and ready or it's going to be almost smoothed off and ready. Heck, it might even be in primer next time you see it. So from David Days Glory Shopworks, I appreciate you guys following this build along. And we're going to make this uh, old rusted out truck box look pretty darn good when we're done. Have a good night, guys.